Here's an uber battle with Valen for the win, and uh, yeah, we decided to make an uber battle after our OU battle, so let's get this started. I actually failed in this battle, I mean, I'm not good at ubers, but I, I wanted to bring my shaman sky form, but I don't know, it changed to land form, I don't know why. So he leads off his shaman sky form, and I know such shamans, such shaman will go for substitute. So I went straight for uh, flamethrower. I wanted to set up my rocks, but yeah. Anyway, so he goes in his meteora, and um, yeah, this is actually not a good poke that I want to see. And actually, this battle was very hexy for him. Yeah, it was just, it was ridiculously hexy, you will see. So he sits up the rocks, I set up a, um, a thunder wave on him to get some pair hexes. I go for D-Pulse, and yeah, he sets up spikes, and I was like, no, no entry hazards, man. I just hate those entry hazards in Ubers. Yeah, so I go for the D pulse again. He gets the Parahex, which was just amazing for me. I know next D pulse won't kill, but anyway, I will bring him to low health. And since this, yeah, he goes for a recover. I was like, dang it, you're just annoying as hell. Stop this. And um, I go for another D pulse, and he's basically, I think, PP stalling me out because he has the freaking pressure. And look, guess what? He gets another Parahex. That was just uh, annoying. I mean, yeah, it's not it's not annoying for me, but annoying for him. I'm sorry. And he gets another parahex. How can you like this? Oh my god! So now I go for the flame flamethrower because I know this will kill, and I didn't want to lose my all PPs for uh, my dragon dragon pulse. So now he goes into I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. And etc. He goes for a light screen. I go for the T wave and hoping to get a, so so many parahexes again. So I switch in my thin dick, my bandit Deoxys, and guess what? Parahex. That was that's just ridiculous. So I go for a nice punch because I'm bandit. I know it will do over half. I know it won't kill, but yeah. And guess what? Another parahex. That is just insane. Oh my god! I'm just I'm I'm even. Yeah, that is just oh my god. So he switches into Ziaf. He's a ho ho. -o. I go I get a solid hit with the ice punch, but I really I had a feeling this thing is scarfed, but I wanted to make sure. And actually that played a not good role. That is kinda unfortunate because he he is scarfed. He outspeeds one of my uh, main attackers in the Uber team. So now I go into my Night Shadow, my Rayquaza. I know I can take Sacred Fires to the face and set up some Dragon Dances. I was really hoping not to get burned. And yeah, I didn't get the burn, unfortunately, yeah. So he gets another Sacred Fire. Uh, and I know after plus 2 DDs I'll be pretty much faster than anything. And yeah. So uh, now I will just kill him off with a Waterfall. Um, and at this point he was like, good game man, I have nothing to stop your Rayquaza sweep. And Rayquaza is a new poke that I uh, tried out. So now he goes into, I'm on a boat, uh, and I go for an Outrage just for a sure KO, and yeah, that does KO. So uh, I'm on a boat goes down, which is rather cool. Uh, so now comes out Tiger Woods, I was like, ah, no. And I know this thing has Shadow Sneak, and then he was like, I forgot I, that I have Shadow Sneak on my Tiger Woods. So, my, the Tiger Woods sneaks behind me in a sh like a shadow and hits me right in the in my ass. So, my Nightshade goes, Night Shadow goes down. Not my Night Shadow is killed by a shadow, so... Yeah, I go into my uh, uh, Time... Uh, Hour Master, not Time Master. I go for the Thunder... Uh, thunder Wave, I was actually faster, I was like, what? And I go for the D-Pulse, I know it won't kill, but I have nothing to take an Outrage in this team now, so that is pretty much I have to fight. But he gets a Parahex! Oh my god, what? That is just... I don't know how you can name it. So he goes for a Shadow Sneak just for damage, because he know he will die to the Dragon Pulse, and he dies to the Dragon Pulse. Yeah, I'm really sorry, that's just... I don't know how to, how to name it. I just, I don't know how to call it, it's just, wow. So now he goes into his big picks, he is, um, 
uh, Mewtwo. I know Aura's Fair is coming, but I really, I, ju I just have nothing to take uh, any hit from this thing. And at this point, I'm thinking he might be Specs, so I go into my Arceus Wife, because I didn't see any items, any life form and shit. My Lugia. He goes for an Ice Beam. It turned out to be Expert Belt. I was like, dang, that is just... Uh. So, and I was actually set up, set up in Calm Mind, so hopefully to sweep the rest of his team, but it didn't come out, unfortunately. So he kills me off with a safe Thunderbolt, which is very unfortunate. I mean, seriously, Lugia could do quite a lot in this, yeah. So, I go into my choice specs, my Shaman, which is supposed to be land sky form, but it wasn't, so it's like very gay. Kills, he kills me off with a nice beam, and my last Pokemon is uh, a Latias, no, Latios, which is actually a Memento Latias, so that's pretty much good game, I won't kill him. I, I actually try to go for Dra for Draco Meteors, but since I have since I don't have any special attack EVs that won't kill, yeah, I leave the Ice Beam. So it's pretty much good game at this point, and he has his Shaman left. So good game, Valen, for the win. That was just a hexy battle. Hope you, you will go and subscribe to him if you didn't already. So red 